We begin with Alessandra Young and Alessandra, you spoke with TPD Chief Lee Burkaw one on one. So what did he have to say today? Paula, he says that Tampa police's number one priority is safety, and they've had an increased presence here all day, which will continue into tonight. We're not going to tolerate this, and we're going to arrest those involved, and then we're going to send them to the state attorney's office for full prosecution. Words we've heard before from the chief of Tampa police. Tuesday shooting near Armature Works, strikingly similar to the shooting in Ebor six months ago, both involving groups of teenagers. And chief, going back to the, we will not tolerate this. You know, we heard you say that last night. You just said it right now. And that was also your message during Ebor. So what has changed in this amount of time? What's being done? Oh, there's, there's a plethora of things that are being done. Uh, just th last week, I was uh, opening up our Shielding Our Teens program. That's where it's an outreach with our youth to help them get ready for jobs and interview and provide clothing. The big question tonight, how do guns continue ending up in the hands of teenagers? A lot of guns are coming from cars. Last year, we had over 200 guns that were stolen from cars that were left unlocked. So if you think about it, that's just in the city of Tampa. Despite what happened out here 24 hours ago, people we spoke to say they feel safe. Yeah, I feel 100% safe. I bike back and forth right in front of Stone's Throw every day from work. Um, went about our day. I didn't even think about it, to be honest with you. So it all, all is well over there. It's sad to see it this close to home, but you know, a lot of communities are having issues like that. So thankfully, we have a great mayor and a great police team. What led to the gunfire and what guns were used are all a part of this ongoing investigation. Live in Tampa, Alessandra Young, 8 on your side.